Hi, I'm Heidi from SkypeViolinLessons.com and I am here today to help you overcome that fear of tuning your instrument. Now I know this can be intimidating for some people, especially with the high cost of strings today, but it doesn't have to be. It's especially a lot easier if you have the help of an electronic tuner, which you see here that I have. Now it doesn't really matter what brand, I'm happen I happen to have one that is called the Digital Metro Tuner from Char Music. You could pick that up at charmusic.com, but it really doesn't matter the brand. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of helpful hints before we start tuning to make it easier. First of all, make sure your shoulder rest is very secure so you can just rest your head on the violin and have both your free your hands free for tuning. Then, you want to make sure you bow slowly and quietly up bow towards the frog and keep your bow between the fingerboard and the bridge. And then you want to make sure you have your tuner in a place where you can see it easily, but keep an eye on your bow. Tune quietly. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. If you want to make your pitch higher, you need to turn the fine tuner to the right. If you want to make your pitch lower, turn that fine tuner to the left. Are you ready? We're going to start with the A string, which is what they tune to in orchestras. Now you can see here, my tuner is showing that I'm flat and the needle is showing that I'm flat. So I'm going to watch that tuner as I bow up bow. I'm going to rest my head on the shoulder on the chin rest and bring my left hand around to that second tuner in. That's the A string. And I'm going to sharpen it by making it tighter by turning it to the right. Now I'm going to keep playing so I can hear it and so the Met metronome tuner can pick it up and you can see there the needle is moving back towards the middle which is exactly what we want and the reason why we tune we bow while we're tuning is so we don't over tune and make it sharp like that so I'm going to bring it back down until that green light is showing consistently there we go we have a winner folks bingo okay now we're going to go over to the D string Oh, but this one's flat too. What you find is common when one string is flat, almost all of them will be flat as well. Okay, so we're gonna turn it to the right, make it tighter, and bring that pitch up to the center. We're almost there, there it is. Almost got that solid green light. See, it's kind of like a game. Now we're gonna go to the G string. And again, stay on one string, because that will help your electronic tuner pick up the pitch. Oh, this one happens to be sharp. So here's an exception to the rule. I'm going to turn that fine tuner to the left and bring down that pitch. There we go. Almost got it. Now, sometimes Using your fine tuner isn't enough, so you're going to have to use your peg, but I'll explain that in a different post. There we go. Now we have a winner for the G string too. All right, last but not least, we're gonna do the E string. Here we go, E string. Up bow, slowly and quietly. Uh-oh, we have a sharp string. So we're gonna turn it to the left to bring that pitch down. We've got an in-tune violin. Now you can see here this violin is much too small for me. The reason why I'm using it is because it has all four five fine tuners. You find this with smaller violins. With larger student models, uh, more advanced student models or professional size violins, you're going to find that sometimes you only have one tuner. Oftentimes you only have the E string tuner as you can see right there. So I used this smaller violin to show you how to use the fine tuners to tune. Now if you have a, a string that's really out of tune you're gonna have to use those big guns, the pegs. Again this doesn't have to be scary and I will show you in my next post how to use the pegs to tune your violin successfully. Now you have a great day and keep on violining. Bye!